Good evening. Sacred Spiritual Healer here. Anyone that wants a personal reading, you can email me at sacredspiritualhealer at gmail.com. This is going to be your what you need to heal session and how. So spirit, give us true precise messages for the collective and what they need to heal for this day. What does the, the collective need to heal? So first up we have Ben's the Stellar Gateway Chakra. So be sure and do your meditation for opening and activating your chakras and then balancing. And sometimes um, yoga moves uh, assist with this, but um, the best part is uh, meditation and ask your archangels to assist you. Remember that this is a sacred union in 5D first. Remember, the near effect is real. So however you're feeling right now, the pain, the energy, your thoughts is the same way they're feeling. Right. Surrender the union or the connection to the divine, the great spirit. Um, it's very strong. And until you surrender the outcome to spirit, you're only going to keep going in that rubber band effect. Call on Archangels Michael, Muriel, Raphael, Gabriel, Uriel, Crystalline, Jophiel, and Shamu, and they will assist you. And Archangel Metatron as well. Use your telepathy to speak with them. I think, we, uh, especially with the uh, the mirroring effect, they you're mirroring one another. They feel your pain. They feel your energy as well as they hear you speaking to them telepathically. They do love you. Self-love you first, though. You have to take care of yourself. Fill your own cup with love. Take um, some of like self-care type things would be take a hot bath, meditate, use music, candle sage, ask spirit for visions of clarity regarding your connection for your next step, or perhaps what needs to heal. Ask spirit to and your archangels to show you the area of your soul that needs healing that perhaps you don't see because you've tucked it away so deeply. Sometimes songs on the radio may trigger you. Go inside within and heal it. So ask yourself, why is what what were you thinking of when you heard the song? Did it trigger you? That it you know also made you cry, or you get upset, etc. Then go within your childhood, or your you know deep down in, and ask yourself when you first had a feeling of that abandonment or pain, and then heal it. Forgive the person that made you feel that way. Forgive yourself for allowing that to feel that way. And 
ask spirit to release it and take it to the ethers. But it doesn't serve you. Get into mission and just do it. Do it now. Okay, so yellow tourmaline is for solar plexus. This also heals your liver, spleen, kidneys, gallbladder issues. Okay, so yellow tourmaline. I think this might be one. And then I have, this is kind of a yellowish, but the other ones are in the, uh, on the other altar. Okay, so the old hag which reminds us to take off the mask. Be strong inwardly to see through a facade and forgive others of their hurtful actions. True soul will be exposed. And your past life traumas also still need to be healed. Meditate, ask spirit to show you your past life areas that need to be healed and do the past life regression service. for the collective that is viewing this when, when, for when they do it. Those that are drawn to watch the video, this message is for you. It's all energy. So the dragon card is your third eyes open, your all your crown chakra is open, your solar plexus is open and activated, your heart chakra is wide open, and your throat chakra is open, and your third eye is open, and you're seeing with your third eye, and you. See behind the veil, you travel easily to different dimensions and you in your astral travels as well as your past. And sometimes when you, uh, certain issues that t trigger you, it brings up the dragon within you. And you need to learn to tame the dragon within you. The dragon, perhaps if it, someone gets, say, jealous of something, then you need to go back to when you were a child and if someone, you got jealous because someone got something you did or your parents favored one child over another, etc. But those jealousies have multiplied into this dragon now. And so... It causes a, a uproar of flaming emotions when it's triggered as an adult. So you need to learn to tame your dragon. Go within from the first time. Forgive your parents for favoring the other child. Or forgive yourself for not speaking up about it. Because things don't happen to us. They happen for us. So these triggers are, for, are happening to you to go let you know you need to go heal this issue. All right. All right. So seeing one's most true self, balancing the ego. The dragon sees everything. It, its essence has been with us ever since our first breath and will be there for our last breath. It watches us navigate the external world as well as our inner world. When dragon energy is awakened, we are courageous visionaries and can easily drop into witness consciousness 
it is almost as if we are traveling with a great friend with inside of us. When we look in the mirror, deep into our eyes, we even see a glimpse of the self behind the self, the one who is watching us. This is the power of the dragon, breathing, transformation, fire into every cell of our bodies, witnessing this important energy even for a brief moment helps us surrender and let go we let the dragon guide us we hop on its back for a ride and as we traverse even the most difficult terrain the dragon's eye sees the beauty everywhere it is said that if a yogi does not see beauty in the world their agony is dim agony is described as the inner fire or sacred intelligence this may even just the mention of the dragon stir the embers of intelligence within you the ja dragon in the third chakra the subtle energy of the dragon lives at the navel center in the manapura chakra manapura translates to the city of the hidden gems and behind its gates burns the fire of our transformation and digestion the sages believe health of the fire at the navel center is what governs our ability to clearly see both the inner and the outer dimensions. What does the collective need to heal spirit? Okay, so right now you're healing yourself. You're going within. Your heart chakra is open. Um, this is um, the grounded um, energy with the pentacle is earth energy, the queen of pentacles. She's listening to her intuition and she's loyal to a fault. The, she's feeling emotional. Perhaps um, I would also recommend healing of the throat chakra. Uh, perhaps she's not speaking up. And also your base chakra to be more grounded to Mother Earth. The things that need to heal or you need to nurture one another. You need to nurture self first. Remember this is about self-care. You have to be in union with yourself before you can be in union with your partner and they need to be in union with themselves before they can come to you they have to be aligned with your energy so as one may become uh, the high priestess per se in, in her power and nurturing herself loving herself knows her worth but yet if the counterpart is not at that level still has the alcohol uh, addiction or other um, facets that they need to heal then they won't be able to come to you for equal balanced nurturing of one another until they raise raise up their vibration and come up out of those devil energies so this is saying that you need to heal 
this nurturing of one another, perhaps over nurturing to the point that you don't want to be an enabler. In other words, um, say if someone, all right, we'll just go back to the alcohol for whatever reason, that's what comes up, okay? The, um, if someone has a drinking issue, an enabler is the one who oh, goes and buys them the liquor or the beer or whatever and allows them to, you know, kind of almost helps them to go ahead and stay in that devil energy, that cycle of drinking. So don't be an enabler to your divine counterpart in that regards, whatever the, whatever their vice is. But most of all, this is about nurturing yourself, loving yourself, filling yourself with self-love between you and great spirit. And the connection is divine timing. So when they heal, because the more you heal as the divine feminine, the divine masculine will also heal. And they will then go in and heal, help heal themselves as well. And send them positive and healing energy through the 5D and remember to heal your inner child go back and anytime you get triggered you go into the inner child and heal the inner child I also have another video on the uh, playlist regarding um, healing the inner child because I think it's labeled like uh, this boy needs healing or you're being called to heal this child something like that all right so Nine of Pentacles, um, she's building the Pentacles up, but these are just earthly things. All this is doing is building this wall while she's contemplating and she's just focusing on him. And in this sense, she's not healing herself. Her heart chakra is open. She's giving all kinds of unconditional love to the world and the animals, everyone around her. But she's not, uh, she's not taking her focus off of the counterpart and uh, back onto herself and her mission. So focus on yourself and on in get in mission. All right, this is something to do with the masculines with well, or feminine, whoever the uh, person is here to you in your situation. But this person here is um, still with the karmic, but uh, or near them, but they are ignoring them in the sense of loving energy. They are trying to turn their back. Um, to the devil energy and just focus on their pentacles. And remember, you will be tested throughout your journey to, you know, pentacles or love, even though if you choose love, you are promised gifts of abundance after. But those that choose money or pentacles over love will just get pentacles. <laughs> So the sun card is here to say that it's, you know, it's been the happiest card of the deck. You're nurturing your inner child here. You're spinning your gold. You'll be abundant in all things. And you're also remembering to nurture the inner child of your divine counterpart. Things are very, this is very balanced and blossoming. Um, and it's a completion card. It's 19 breaks to a 10, which breaks to a 1. You have all major arcanas here except one. <laughs> Justice card here is the 11. And she's balancing things out. She knows that, um, that it takes both dark to have for the light to shine. She's listening to her, using her higher power from the divine to balance this. With the solar plexus and the sacral chakra, you um, work, but justice is here to balance out the energies of this love connection. Remember, you'll be going through many transformations, not just one, each phase. You'll, uh, when you complete a cycle, you'll go through more of one. The emperor here, number four, he's being very stubborn. He is passionate and he has love and he believes in this connection, but he's being very stubborn about moving away from his uh, roots and away from his uh, what he knows to be stable.
Clarify Queen of Pentacles, please. Clarify Queen of Pentacles. Of what needs to be healed. So the Queen of Pentacles. Oh dear. So. So the page of this Queen of Pentacles, more or less, is also a page of swords, and she's choosing that she knows now that she needs to move. Uh, she needs to move forward with her sword and cut out the things that are not serving her and set her boundaries. All right, she's going into hermit mode um, to do the studying that she needs to to do that inner healing and to follow her divine light, her spirit guides as well, heal any devil energy remember if she's trying to connect with the divine masculine before it's divine timing and he's still in his devil energy then that makes him a toxic devil energy to her and a high priestess can't take on toxic energy so she has to walk away has to go within and heal until he is of the right vibration and who's he well of course he is the hierophant so when he comes up as the Paraffin, and they can be of mutual vibration, of in alignment with one another, and be in union. And again, we have the Queen of Swords. All right, clarify two of cups, please. Spirit, clarify two of cups. So, regarding the Two of Cups, there were boundaries that had to be set, and perhaps they were breached. Um, this is her being defensive. She set her boundaries there, but it looks like she's had to stand her ground once again because boundaries were breached. So this time she's setting more boundaries, Five of Swords, turning her back on the karmic and the girlfriends or the side pieces, and um, carrying her sword but setting her boundaries um, with the swords. That she fought this with the wheel of fortune then will turn forward regarding the two of cups and that's why justice is underneath it is to balance this out because the two of cups is better than the lover's card it is that um the equal give and take when she nurtures him and sends him positive healing energy he's supposed to be nurturing and sending back that same healing and loving nurturing energy um you know, it's, it's an equal balance of love and compassion back and forth. And it's an equal respect. It's unity. It's trust. It's faith. Honesty. Being vulnerable together with one another. Okay, clarify this nine of pentacles. For this one, what do they need to heal regarding nine of pentacles? It needs to be healed regarding nine of pentacles. Thank you. The king of swords, not in his truth. The sword is down. And she's looking at him and concentrating because there's a high priestess. She knows he's lying and not being open and honest. That he's perhaps playing games, juggling more than one person. And that she's the Queen of Pentacles. She's in her uh, throne with blossomings and abundance around her. Include she's working on her Pentacles. On the bottom, we have Six of Pentacles. The three women there, and the High Priestess. Clarify the King of Pentacles theme regarding what do they need to heal. This is the devil energy he needs to heal um, and walk away from the drinking and the drugs or smoking or the sex addiction, pornography, workaholic energy, etc. And three party situations. <laughs> Anything else? 
you don't put the high priestess and the empress in a three party situation where the high priestess knows her worth she'll walk and they'll be left with nothing but pain because they still will have that magnetic pull the ache the constant thinking of them it's a divine connection you're not weak can't cut the cords to this connection. You can't walk away from it without healing. You have to do the healing and move forward, not backwards. You can't go backwards in this. You can't unawaken once you've been awoke. This is regarding the Ace of Cup, a new beginning regarding love. This is her filling her own cup with her the unconditional love for herself divine love as the dove is up there in the top clarify sun cards please what needs to heal regarding the sun card what needs to heal Boy. Okay, options and whew. so the divine masculine was playing with too many options. Maybe it was more than a three-party situation. So um, all these options that he thought he could entertain, the high priestess is here to cut those out. She's the two swords. Had to make a decision. She removed the blindfold and made the decision. He wasn't making the decision for him, so she took herself out of the equation. She's no longer an option. Why? Because she is the high priestess. She knows that without darkness you have no light, yet she is the light. She knows the truth behind the lies and she sees behind the veil. She sees into their soul as they share the same soul. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify justice, please, and what needs to heal regarding this. Regarding the justice card, what needs to be The justice card is here to bring the Ten of Cups to the High Priestess. Because the Emperor here, even though we have a divine couple right underneath each uh, top and underneath each other, Emperor and Empress, the High Priestess. Is, uh, took herself out of the equation and is moving forward for her own cup of love, for her own ten of cups on her own. Clarify the emperor and what's he healing? What's this emperor trying to heal? Uh, broken pentacles. Again, he's worried about his money. These pentacles, he thought he had a balance or a grounded situation with four. Four table legs that makes the table balanced. But these two are faulty. They're broken. They're bent. They're no good. It was an illusion. So he's trying to heal and bring in the sun. But he's still focused on pentacles. Not realizing that your true abundance comes with love for self and love for others nine of cups she's um, filling her own cups up and with the ace of cups here that makes ten ten of cups and again ten of pentacles she's choosing to move forward turning her back they're turning their back on the other parties that are still here there's two women and a guy but building the pentacles, the, the completion to the situation with the pentacles. You know, on the bottom, overall energy, we have the tower. Leaving behind things that no longer serve them regarding love. Anything else they need to heal, sir? Anything else that they need to heal?
Judgment with the Tower card. Judgment came in and he's searching now, perhaps for her, because she went on her way. Six of Wands, moving forward. But this is very dark and cloudy. And going, traveling with his mask down. that I need to heal. Star Mother, how can you mother yourself? That's a good way of putting it. You have to love yourself like you were your own mother. Um, what would you recommend or to yourself if you were your mom or if it was your child? How to heal and how to love yourself. Speak good thoughts to yourself, affirmations. Know that you are worthy and you are loved. And tell yourself that your parents loved you because sometimes things happen in your childhood and, you know, this pebble then as you get to an adult seems like it's a rock and it's really just a pebble. So go in and do the inner child healing as well for any of the um, trauma that you experienced as, a, um, as youth, as far back as you can remember. Soul family, call in your tribe. You don't have to do this alone. We are here as a community even for... Uh, on the YouTube, there are some great uh, groups even regarding the Twin Flame journey on Facebook that you could reach out to. Align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? What is not aligned or needs to change? Okay. Break the chain. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. I'm going to save that for a second. And then the last one is Pleiades, your um, Axurian uh, star seeds. So as a star seed, you know you came here for a mission. Some of you came for a double mission. Channeling and uplifting humanity. Raising the vibration of Mother Earth. Raising the vibration in yourself and others. Which will then raise the vibration of Earth itself. The uh, Break the Chain Ancestral Patterns. So this is you do this similar to the um, healing your inner child. So you can go into a meditative state um, and ask your spirit guides. Envision them around you. I usually envision like a fire pit outside and the spirits are with me. And ask them to take you on a, you know, like a dream journey to show you what ancestral patterns or ancestral traumas need healing. Ask the uh, spirit, the seer, to show you what you don't want to see. And these are deep, dark uh, traumas or issues that happened as a child or in your past lives or even generational um, for your ancestors that you've tucked away deep in your soul. And they will, be, they will come up. And as they come up to the front and you can see what they are or identify what needs to be healed, you know, forgive. Envision you cutting the chain with like your knife or scissors, whatever. Break the chain. Cut the cords to that memory for both you and all ancestors that come after you and that have come before you. And then release it to the ethers and ask spirit to release and break the chains as well and call in Archangel Michael to fill the void with unconditional self-love and to call back the fragmented pieces of your soul 
and call back or call in your birthrights of all abundance. Okay, so that's where your ancestral uh, patterns and healing, rewriting the future, that, that those events didn't happen. And the same with your inner child. You envision your spirit guides around you. Then close your eyes and imagine what tr your trauma as a child that you experienced. And imagine that you're there in, in yourself in that moment as an adult watching as a third person this take place. And then you as the adult, you envision you stopping it, picking up the child and showing them that it's okay, that they are loved, they are worthy. And at, let them know to forgive the other person for their actions that they didn't know better. And that the child forgives themselves. And hug the child. Envision hugging that child, which is really you as a child. But reassure them that your inner child, that's how you're going back to rewrite that trauma, is you envisioning you going back and giving the love to that child that they didn't receive or they... Um, if they were feeling abandoned, pick them up and let them know that they're not um, abandoned, they're not lost, they, that they are loved, and that they are worthy of love. Alright, so I hope that helped. Some people aren't sure how to do inner child healing or um, to cut the chains. I also have a cord cutting uh, video in the playlist. Um, you're welcome to search that out as well. And you can also email me, sacredspiritualhealer at gmail.com, and I'd be glad to help. Also, if you need a personal reading, then same email address. I hope you have a blessed day.